Flash now playing or call 1-800-TCM-1002. Hi, I'm Robert Osborne, and happy Halloween. And to continue our 24 hours of ghoulish movie pleasures, we next bring you a fright film from Warner Brothers in 1953, House of Wax. This was the biggest success of all the spooky movies made in the 1950s. Actually, a remake of a scary film that Warner Brothers had made 20 years earlier titled Mystery of the Wax Museum. A big hit then, but an even bigger one with our version. It stars Vincent Price, who was well established at that time as a first-rate actor known for his supporting roles in films such as The Song of Bernadette, Laura, and Leave Her to Heaven. But with this next film, Vincent Price embarked on a whole new phase of his career, a concentration on his appearing in horror films. From this movie on, his name was on a list alongside Lon Chaney, Bela Lugosi, and Boris Karloff. One thing that brought unusual attention to this next film was the fact it was the first important Hollywood film that had been done in 3D. Part of the strategy to lure people back into movie theaters and away from watching television at home for free when TV first came along in the 1950s. House of Wax was, in fact, such an important film that the Warner Studios staged a huge premiere party in New York for it, one that even Bela Lugosi attended. Bela arriving with a gorilla on a leash. Well, actually it was a person in a gorilla suit on a leash, but nonetheless, Bela Lugosi was there to join the celebration. Now this film turned out to be the most popular and financially successful of all the 3D films released during that brief reign that the 3D gimmick had in the 1950s. The good news is it's a very entertaining movie to watch even without the 3D effects, which is the way we're going to be bringing it to you right now. From 1953, also with Frank Lovejoy, Phyllis Kirk, and Charles Bronson, directed by Andre de Toth, an unusual choice, though, as a director for this movie, since de Toth had the use of only one eye and didn't have the depth perception that was the whole reason for watching something in 3D in the first place. Here's House of Wax. Mm -hmm. 